Hello friends, my name is Luke the Gamer Duke, and today in Last Epoch, I'm releasing my full session first impressions intro to the Sentinel, who reached level 8 and to where Belfast was stolen. I'll be noting various aspects of gameplay, design, gear, and so forth along the way. Enjoy! Logging in, we're going to continue playing offline, for the sake of any latency issues. There's the mage I started. So we're going to go... Uh, Try out someone new here. I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, so we did the mage. Maybe the sentinel. Or maybe the primalist. I think the primalist. That's more like a barbarian, I guess. I saw him with dual axes. I will come back to the primalist. We'll we'll do the sentinel. It's a paladin name, right? Luarca. Solo character found. Hmm. Don't know what that is. Great character. Yeah, I see if I pay attention and find yeah, out what the hell's going on with the story this time. It was darkness. Only the terror. Myself. And the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light. Of life. Of humanity. We disagreed. And yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert. Lagon of the sea. Rye of the endless skies. And Hierot of the frozen tundra. But fate stole Ekera away. Without her, there was conflict. Then wars. In the end, it was Rye who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rye's gaze were the keepers, an order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. A traveler, willing to walk into the flames of war. But for the traveler walking into the flames of war, was it honor to find the keepers? Power, redemption, to help the keepers, to assist the keepers. Fate, perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. Here we go with the Sentinel. Let's check the Sentinel out. Looking pretty cool. A uh, little scrappy. This land is peaceful. I must warn the bitch ass sword he's got there. This place to ash. Need a better sword for sure. I gotta remember that left click is only for rocking and running. Normal sword attack, what is this? This is vengeance, a melee attack that also prepares you to repose incoming hits. Okay, so you get repose charges. 
Repose charges. Repose. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to really do. Traveler, our Heroborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. As keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. Very interesting way to write out a message, I think. Plus 11% physical resistance and plus 12 dodge. All right. This guy was difficult. Oh, flame attack. Damn. Throw a heal. Revenge successfully hits an enemy and you take a hit in the next two seconds, you'll repose. Rapazi. Rapazi. <laughs> Taking 25% less damage and striking at nearby enemy. Okay, so it's just something you have to keep it going, I guess. A helm and a wooden shield. Is that better than what I currently have? Yes, it is. Inventory swap out. Damn bird again. Got him. Got him. That can be better. Health potion. New skill. Went over this last time. Read over again. Specializing special up to five skills by clicking. Specializing a skill allow you to gain additional points. Not sure you're available yet. Click on action bar slot to access the skill panel. Okay. Spin towards the mouse while you hold down the ability key, striking nearby enemies as you move. Sounds oddly familiar. Looks oddly familiar. They, <laughs> they give you whirlwind pretty quick. Pretty beastie. Might swap skills here. Hitting W instead of Q. Why wouldn't I just use this the whole time? Birdie again. 
And they're fighting each other. I still don't understand why they're fighting each other. Doesn't matter. Take them all out. Uh, it's, uh, uh, Grave. What's that his name? Level three. When you arrived, was there a family? Rail. It was my mistake. They were cornered, and there were so many. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back. To let me handle it. And they left. Thanks. You certainly appear strong. Are you also here for the peace talks? I am. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? Who says I don't I need no more help? Besides, we'll be awkward ignoring each other. Come. Let me watch you fight. Well. What's the point of giving you options, dialogue options, if it's the same result? maybe to do is like a hireling or something. No, he just goes with you regardless. Okay. Oopsie. Right, so I got a Passive skill, didn't I? Yes, I did. Overwhelm adds physical damage to your melee attacks and increases their chance to stun. Juggernaut. Alt for more information. What? Each point of strength increases armor by 4% and improves skills that scale with strength such as Warpath and Vot and Rive. Each point of vitality grants 6 health and 1% poison and necrotic resistance. Um, I think I want health. Like I want to I want to tank my guy out. So that's going to be this one fearless. Got a new... I leveled up again? When did that happen? Hammer throw. Throws a hammer that returns to you after a short delay. Okay. So much destruction. Uh, throw! You get Thor's hammer, huh? <laughs> so it doesn't really return to you, it's just... I guess, I guess it technically does, but you have... Throw however many you want to. Okay. That's pretty spammy. Probably just get rid of regular attack completely. Finding some kind of spam where, like, if you hit. Oh. But what I leveled from? I didn't remember leveling. I have a new skill already. Yeah. Man, it's flood you with skills in the first 10 minutes. Skills are it's too many of them. Throw, charge. Yeah. 
Yeah, why don't I just sit here and just throw hammers at him? Oh, jeez. Well. Well done. We're almost there. I'll see you ahead. <laughs> a club and a, a great mace. I'm gonna keep the shield. Can you say I'll see you up ahead and continues to follow you? What is this? So, oh. um, so what do I like? Probably Warpath. I mean, well, why wouldn't you? Or maybe Hammer Throw. Um, I'll do Warpath. Nah, because it's Whirlwind, but I mean, that, <laughs> it's hammered in. Uh, whatever. Warpath. That's fine. We'll specialize Warpath. Increase movement speed. Less mana. More damage. More damage, please. Back. Um, uh, okay. So I'm not using Vengeance at all. I'm probably not going to use Vengeance, so we're just going to swap that out for Whirlwind. Hammer Throw. We'll move everything up one. And then I'll put Vengeance as my left click. Right click. Golden experience. Sounds right, like we'll talk to Grail over here again. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. A group tied closely with our goddess, Etera. They've been indebted okay. to Okay. But why, we do not know. Oh, that's helpful. Even their names. Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god, or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the Keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. All right. Lag in offline mode, that is unacceptable. Got our waypoint. So I got up to Keeper's Vault last time with the mage, so we'll get there this time with the Sentinel. Hmm. Thank you, Terra. All right, so we're here for peace talks. Your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. One of. Two. There should be more of us here. Yes. I assume Both something happened. Remain, oh, okay. And he's not here. As such, I must ask for your Balthus is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. Even now, the Ospricks swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north. Where Baltus is. Could you make sure he's safe? Do this, and I'll and do. secure. We'll lend our aid to him. Yeah, we'll see about that. She just really doesn't look like her 2D portrait. He looks a lot rougher, too. Alright, so we're off to find Belfast. Alright, so I got my portal. Oh, I got passive skills. One more passive skill. We'll just keep doing vitality. What does this one do? Increases the strength. Adds physical damage to your melee attack. 
I will keep going strength and or, uh, vitality. So, can't tell. Is that a hammer or just his sword going crazy? Remember the vine crawlers? Just throw hammers at them. Oh, they don't reach. Alright, a little before. Alright, now throw them. Alright, so why are these guys fighting each other? I, I don't understand. Still don't know why they're fighting each other. Throw more hammers. Let's get out of that. Got a little dangerous for a second. Only for a second. Cooldown. Cooldown for the charge lunge, as it's called. New skill unlocked. What is Rive? Combo of three melee attacks. Every third consecutive attack with rives, slashes, and full circle around the character dealing double damage. Yeah, we'll use that instead of vengeance, I think. I don't really care about Ripple Zane. That's cute. Okay, I like that. Little combo slices. And when they get close, just take them all out. Nope. Out of mana. You can go negative? Do I go negative mana? That's interesting. Got some health on him. Yeah, that's right. Back up. Back up, Quill Rats. Oh, Quill Hogs. Sorry, Quill Hogs. Should have done the hammer. Um, 
I gotta start the skill over and I got two points, but I mean... I have a feeling that I'm not gonna even be using Warpath now that I got the hammer and I got Rive. I mean, Rive does more damage. I, don't know, I think that hammer's pretty badass. I'll get that at level 8, I guess. I mean, what other skills do I get before level 8? Shield Bash. That's crazy. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 skills by level 7. Huh. I don't want to say that's overload, but it's kind of overload, isn't it? Blocking. I'm not going to care about blocking while I'm slashing the hell out of people. Deals more damage. Larger area. So we'll throw some damage to it. Less mana. Speed. Additional melee void damage. I don't know. This void damage is just a type of elemental. But which one was direct damage? Warpath deals more damage. There you go. Boom. Passives? Uh, I do have a passive. Alright, we'll do more vitality. And a bastard sword. I'll probably swap out this sword, actually. This is going to do a lot more damage. 20 versus 10. Yeah, literally double damage. I don't get a shield, but you really have to unequip the shield in order to. That's not possible. That's not possible. It doesn't. It doesn't auto unequip your stuff. I, I really gotta take the shield off. That's aggravating. I guess I wasn't exactly paying attention, but does that 38, 37, 37, 84, 36, okay, 31, I thought that increased the hammer throw for a second, good that it doesn't, good that it doesn't, shouldn't. Take this guy out. Ostrich Warrior dead. Yeah, we're likely going to stick with two handed swords here. Or at least two handed weapons in general. I'm going to tank myself out. I do not need a shield. Yeah, I don't need a shield. Who needs a shield? Take some gloves, though. What is this? Crafting material? Oh, that's what I guess he holds relics. Hmm. I'm a, I'm, hmm. So, can different characters find different emblems, I guess? Six. Ancient Gardener Supplies. I don't think I found this before. Short Spear. Probably don't care about a spear. 
Oh, is that... That's yellow. That's that's a rare spear then, huh? What are we doing better damage here? Where is my damage? Damage. Well, I guess you just use this for see what your damage is, huh? 59, so it's not going to do more damage than the uh, Bastard Sword here. Alright, 59. 86. Much less. But it's yellow, maybe crafting stuff. I don't need to keep that. Um, don't need to keep a wand. Do some boots. Yeah, that's just crap boots. That's going to give me armor and health regen. That's always nice. And gloves of life. That's probably going to be much better than my gloves of nothing. Plus health. Cool. Alright, so we already have... Five magical items. And... Seven... Seven skills now? Do I get my seventh skill? Eight skill? Seventh skill? Skills. Did I get... No, I didn't get my skills. Is it passive? There we go. It was passive. More vitality. Keep it going. Max it out. Oh, wow. So you actually can go negative mana. I want negative mana down here. Shrine of Wealth, I'll take some money. Actually, what I wanted to do on my last character was put something in the stash to see if... Oop, oh, hold that thought. Damn it. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, I want to try something in the stash to see if it's... Uh, goes between characters. I imagine it does, but you never know. That's just too good. You're me getting- ah, your mana recovers so fast. I mean, jeez. That's like the same kind of recovery that the mage had with his health. Like, he doesn't recover like that, does he? He does recover like that. Oh yeah, let's just- let's just see how low this can get. I mean, that's kind of crazy. I can, I can just sit here. Ah, they're they're <laughs> taking it a little close. They're gonna get me here. And those are oxes. Those are all of the oxes. What I will say, though, is the animations are pretty good. That, might, that last one might be a little too quick. I mean, you still get pretty good exaggeration with them. You get, you get kind of the full stance. It happens very quick, but you do kind of get the full stance. I like that throw could be a little bit... A more, a little bit more exaggerated.
Yeah, so that brings up just, I guess, the weapon I was just looking at. Hmm. Twenty melee, twenty-three melee. Uh, attack rate nine zero. So this is faster. Oh wait, no, slower. Base attack rate one point oh six is fast, but point nine two is slow. Huh. We'll see. See how slow it is. Not really that much slower. I can maybe see a little bit slower, but... Not enough to really make a difference. Maybe a little too much ragdoll. Is that the whole map? I can't tell because I don't know how to scroll around the map. All I can do is zoom out. I don't know how to map scroll. Right to the fortress walls. Oh, they were just having a conversation and jumped right into it, huh? Solar invaders are easy to take out. Ah, oh, rush them. Dead. I will say, so far the map design is very, very good. I do like the map design. Definitely feels handcrafted. Like someone took the time to make it. Design it. Tried to ambush me. Not gonna work. Just came back the way I came, didn't I? Came back the way I started. Yes, I did. Can't pass up gold, can I? Oh, there's some more gold. Walked right by it. I don't think I have a sash yet, do I? I do. I have a traveler's belt. Sash gets me another health potion slot. I'll do it. Alright, here's my first boss. circle around him. Where's he going? Oh, let's not get hit by that. I think that almost killed me last time. That, that won't fire attack. Let's keep throwing shit from a distance. Ooh. Alright, let's rush him. Aha! Heal while a minute. I just sat in the fire, didn't I? Got 
Got him. A wand? What do I want a wand for? Sell it. There's a waypoint. All right, I got to the fortress walls. I don't know what the point of knocking those off is. Let them sit there and shoot shit at me from a ways away? No thank you. Oh, here we go, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's just take them all out. Too good. Too easy. There we go. Oh, he disappeared. No items, huh? Let's just hit this last little area over here. Just to say I did. And same old, same old. Whirlwind away. Whirlwind away. Oh, jeez. Oh, I almost died. Oh, I'm letting them shoot arrows at me, that's why. Got too many of them shooting arrows at me. There we go. I'm sorry, you were saying something? No, you weren't. Axe of Stone. Is this better? 23, 23, plus 10 melee, 25% fire damage. Okay, let's see. 89. 67. That's a huge drop. That's a huge drop. We'll put the 89 back on. That's a 10 point drop. I almost got him in one hit. Oh. Tenacity. High stun avoidance. That didn't help him at all. <laughs> Take him out before they even get to me. Take him out before they even get to me. Another guy of tenacity. Osprex Warrior does not stand a chance. I mean, if I didn't recover health as fast as I was losing it, I might have been in some trouble a few times. Uh, I'm gonna get down there. I didn't find the side quest for this one, did I? That's fine. We can just go through the storerooms anyway. Phoenix. We'll get away from that. Yeah. 
Hammer time. Oh, wait, how many passive skills do I have? Probably a lot by now. Yeah, that hammer is awesome. Yeah, it's not even stand a chance. Neither does that barrel. What is that highlighted for? <laughs> I do kind of feel like Thor every single time I throw the hammer, though. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. Isn't it the same? It's very similar. No, it's not the same. Never mind. Just looks similar. Took a second for that to initiate. Three presses for that to go. My mouse wasn't in the right place. Throw a health up there. Oh, counter attack. Got him. Broken sword? What is. What? Two broken so. What a crock of shit. That was interesting. Oh yeah, you were the guy here. They're gone. Go back to camp. Passive point. All right, let's go ahead and check those out. Two unspent. More vitality. <laughs> Regen plus fifty percent. Old ability key to channel for up to two seconds. You take eighty percent less damage while channeling. Huh. That might come in very handy. I might put that as an R. That is my R key. Uh, does anything... What does this do? Style work. have a higher chance to block. I don't... Not blocking. Adds armor and reduces the damage you take from nearby enemies. Yeah, that's probably going to be helpful. Damage and counter. Now we'll start doing armor. And then we'll put rebuke here. So, press and hold to basically become invincible for a few seconds. Like, some of the animations are pretty good. Like, they're, it's, I don't want to say hokey, but like, I get that it's stylized. I understand that. Pass through the inner door. I don't understand why she has to be there. I don't even know who that is. Another passive point. Um, yeah. Minus 2% damage, then minus 4% damage. Alright, that's what I have now, minus 4%, okay. Yeah, minus damage is a, a good thing. Another one of these guys. Oh, that's 
take all these little minions out first. And do a heal. I'm about to say, there's no way he's dead already. I can definitely see that coming in handy. Rebuke. Boom. Added block shard. Uh, I could probably use some new mail, regardless if it's just regular. Oh, it's the same mail. Okay, that's not helpful. Uh, regular bastard sword, health potion, leather helm. Nothing worthwhile. A new bastard sword? Let's check that out. Assassin's Master Sword. So we're looking at... Oh, percent critical strike. 55% is pretty good. That's actually a really good chance for critical strike. How much damage am I losing? Probably a lot. Right at 89. That'll jump me down. Yeah, back to 69. Full 20 points. I don't know. I kind of like my... Badass axe. I'm assuming critical strike is double damage, so that would be 40. So I would have a chance to do, you know, up, up to 140. Um, we'll see if I notice any good critical strikes. And another shard, fire resist. Okay. Oh, this Belfast with his flower cape. I still can't get over this design choice. The the Sounds so angry for being as flowery as he is. It's a little off-putting. Where's my helm? I'm not wearing my helm? Why am I not wearing the helm? I just... That hasn't been like that the whole time. Oh, it's because I was talking, right? I was in conversation. I'm assuming that's why. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go, that's better. Wee! Smash, smash, smash! That's fun. Wee! Smash, 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 smash! Hulk smash! Oh, there's a boss guy. This will be so quick and easy watch. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Well, that wasn't that bad. Throw a heal potion in there and just stand and fight. I'm invincible. Increase physical damage shard. Another short spear. Yeah. 80% critical strike. That's that's a lot of critical strike. You might not even see what the uh, critical strike here was. That's a lot of critical strike, though. Health. Four health on melee hit. I... Probably actually don't need any help with health. And plus that will lower my attack overall, so... Oh! 88? How did that... Oh, plus 10 cold damage. I didn't even see that. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely keep that then. We'll definitely keep that. Oh, wait, what? Plus 2% melee critical strike chance. 80% increased... Critical strike chance. Hmm. Okay. Oh, damn it, they need to do a health potion. Um. Uh, critical strike multiply. Oh, 200%. 
damage. That's a lot. Uh, critical strike chance, 9%. So if I do 55% increased critical strike. Okay. I understand. Percent chance of what you already have. Yes, percent chance of what you already have. Alright, we'll keep the spear going. We'll see how the spear does. Uh, traveling staff, a silver ring. I don't need minion damage. That might be better than my regular movement speed. Nope. Infantry helm, that'll be better. Armor and dodge rating. Swap that out. Yeah, why do you get rid of my helm? That's weird. Figure out how that happened. Thank you. The Oshbiks grow more troublesome by the day. I'm sure they do. Forced our walls, supplied our men, and taken out dozens of them. Yet, they're still here, using brute force now. What were they using before? Circling the vault. Yes, sir. I see you like keeper's ropes. Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. What do you mean? I'm protecting the Epoch, of course. Here. It's a fortress, meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the Epoch. Or at least it's supposed to. Did Lena not tell you? <laughs> well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly right. if you don't know why Orion is after us. You're, you're following me. I forgot about that. There they go. Water Shrine. I don't know what that did. I probably should have read what Water Shrines do before I clicked on the Water Shrine. An amulet. I don't think I have one equipped yet. Oh. Oh, that's a big axe. That's a big one. So we got? We're at 88. It's going to jump me up to 106. That's a lot. Average versus average. So same strike speed. What else am I losing? Just more critical strike chance. That's it. Alright. Damage it is. Elf shard. Regular sashes are probably all the same. Level 8. Unlocked a new specialization. Ah, turtle plate. That's an interesting plate. A lot more armor. That's really all I need. Looking like a beast. Yeah. That looks kind of skinny. Stunning Shrine. I 
physical damage shard. Keep those. I don't know what they do or how to incorporate them yet, but I know I'm going to need them. Tunement shard. That's a new, uh... Alright, uh, what was that called? A, man a mantle? Ah! That was rude. Yeah, so this is gonna be... Oh, it's a lot. That's a lot better. This gives me... 1 strength, 12 health, increased health regeneration... Nah, increased health regeneration and mana regen. Wonderful stats all around. Smash, 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 smash. Smash, smash, smash. What are I don't know what are what those things are. Supposed to be uh, bugs? I have no idea. Like, what are these supposed to be? They look like they explode with fire. Uh, from what I can tell, they don't. Oh, there's some rare or uh, some unique boots. Oh, interesting. They got some unique hide boots. Lessons of the Metropolis. 176 dodge rating if you have been hit recently. It's pretty good. 11% dodge rating, 5 to dexterity, increased movement speed, and less damage taken while moving. Okay, those are some pretty cool stats. Those are those are good stats. So what I do like is I really like the very straightforward, very lucrative, just straightforward stats that you get. Dodge rating, chance to dodge. Bleed on hit. I mean, these are incredibly straightforward. That's exactly what you want. You don't want a whole list of crap and areas of what it could be and what it couldn't be. I mean, this is simple, straightforward, it's easy. Dexterity, it's percent movement speed. Take less damage. Dodge rating if you have been hit recently. I mean, it's that's probably uh, hopefully as complex as it gets. I do I do like that. I do not like overcomplicated affixes and gears and you know under under this circumstance this happens under that circumstance this happens, but only while this circumstance is happening on a Friday. That that shit's just so annoying. Just give me straightforward stats and let me do with it as I want. Added throw damage is applied to each hit at 100% effect. Oh, okay. I was wondering what happens to the hammer damage. Still, I guess I'm not sure how the hammer damage really works. I have another uh, passive skill. Um, we'll keep uh, damage negation going, and then I have another specialization, shield bash. 
Probably rive. Probably rive. I mean, I'm using it the most. No, I was gonna do hammer throw. I mean, I, I kind of want to get rid of this. What is melee leech? Global? Oh, oh, health leech. Okay. Jeez. As you can just customize the living hell out of this, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I'll just—I guess I'll keep using Warpath, right? Uh, two unspent points. Where's my first? So I get. Deals damage in a larger area. Okay, so we're going to save. I can get that, right? Because I got two skill points, right? Ah, I don't understand. Requires two points. You need two points into this, but that still doesn't get me over. Oh. Okay. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so with the mage, I wasn't hoarding three points, I need to just use three points. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back and do that. Cool, so keep the damage going, and then we'll definitely do hammer throw. Fifteen percent projectile speed, damage, or throwing faster. Probably damage. Northern Road. This is about where I halted with the mage. Yes. Go ahead and knock this waypoint. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Good. No. No, nope. goodbye. Interesting that we don't try to fight him. Why wouldn't we try to fight him? Hmm. I was wondering why she was crying earlier. She's crying because Balthas left, I guess. Orion, the Osfrix general. Seen him at the camp, but never like this. They went to the Highlands, where Osprex are based. But there's too many. It's no use. I'll handle it. Go back to camp. Weeping woman. I will handle this. Alright, so there's the there's Sentinel. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I like his skills. It's a really nice combination of um, melee. Kind of barbarian-esque and... Uh, Paladin. The hammer throw is cool. That's obviously going to be fun. Rowan. I do like this little uh, trio attack. It's an interesting mix and just a standard attack. So, I like Sentinel. Pretty cool. Uh, found some fun weapons along the way that I swapped out a few times. Even found some good armor. I think the one I just picked up here is better, actually. I'll lose a little less armor and gain... I do not need increased mana. I gotta find out what attunement does. Transfer my materials. I never put on my amulet, did I? Melee attack speed and throwing attack speed. Increased cold damage. Oh, 10 mana increased cold damage and melee speed. Cool. And then we can put that in my stash, I guess, for uh, whoever uses wands. I guess probably the necromancer. Um, I'll get rid of the shield. And I'm not sure what you do with spare items. Do you sell them? Do you break them down and craft them? We'll figure all this out as we go. I'll throw, the, uh, throw that in my stash, actually. Jump back to town. Travel! So... 
something I am noticing, which is not everywhere, but it's in some places, and when you do notice it, it's... It's so off-putting. Look at this texture. Like, it, it looks like it was... Like, exported at 512. I, I, I get save in memory, but like, you, you can't, I mean, look at the detail in these rocks here. The detail in these rocks and the stone is miles ahead. I mean, you, you, you can see, you know, the engravings, you can see the outlines and, you know, it looks like a slight, maybe even a normal map or um, a bump map was applied here to kind of pump out some of the um, detail here. But, I mean, you look at this and... Like, that's terrible. That is... I mean, that's like... That's like PS2. Maybe not PS2, but... I mean, maybe. I don't know. That's just... It's not very good. I mean, it's interesting. It's like a lot of... Well, I'll get, I'll get to an area where there's a lot of metals, but... Uh, you know, some of the reflections and the ambient lighting... Is, you know, very good. And look at the ground here. The ground here is fantastic. And then you walk up to like their their armor and it's it's horrible. I mean that's just not very good. But his, I mean his seems okay. Nah, maybe not. I mean obviously your armor has to look pretty good. I mean it looks like the reflections and everything are doing pretty good. But like look at the texture on this axe. I don't know something about it just doesn't seem quality all right i'll try the next character i was gonna hit the stash up again these are very early first impressions this looks very well uh maybe just be an area that maybe they didn't spend too much time on you know the first area that you go to um, to help you, you know, sell the game. Yeah, I got here. That scene. Some of these texture choices just... You know, like, you can see the seams. Alright. You can see, you know, it's not blended well. I don't know, it's like, do they need to save that much memory? I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. I mean, this this doesn't look... I mean, it looks like someone just, you know, meshed together uh, a couple filters and called that a tree. Meanwhile, like, like it, it, it looks like out of focus almost. Like, compare this pillar here to this one back here. And, like, the detail on the side there is clearly better. And, you know, you can see, like, a, a bit of a bump map in there. Then you look at the rock back there, and it just looks shit. But then, you know, you come over here, and you got, you know, the grass moving in the wind, and you have some very, very nice effects going on. I love the fact that, like, leaves fall. I, I was going to compliment the water here, but I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't compliment that too much. I mean, you couldn't add, like, a couple more polygons or something, and then maybe have it, like... It, I mean, I guess you'd have to be two separate objects. I don't know. I, I understand design choices and uh, having to sacrifice in some areas. But, man, if you're going to have so much vibrancy and... so much detail on your uh, characters... I mean, you think you'd want, you know, a good quality texture for them. I mean, my graphics are on high, right? I'm pretty sure I put my graphics on high. Yeah, ultra. Everything's on ultra. Let's make sure there's not like a separate texture one that I forgot to put on. Terrain, ultra. Screen space, ultra. Volumetric lighting, ultra. AO, Ultra, Reflections, Ultra, Full Grass Density. It's 
this highest some anti-aliasing can get. Yeah, I mean, fun. Right, let's try out the next character here. Thanks for watching these first impressions, and feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this run through, consider hitting that like button. And remember to subscribe for more Last Epoch and other ARPG gameplay analytics. See you on the next one. Adios.